Okay, we're going to go through a little scenario here. Let's say you, someone cut a manual check that off, you know, for a bill. The vendor walked in, they said, we need payment for this immediately. The office manager cut a manual check. Okay, and this is all handed back to you as the accountant, as the bookkeeper. All right, so what do you do? You go in, you enter the bill, you create the check, and then you pay it. You know, it, it's out the door. Then when you come to reconcile your bank statement, you notice that the check is for a different amount than the check, or, you know, than the original what you had. And you notice that on your bill, it didn't include shipping, but on the bill that the office manager paid, they knew to include shipping on it. So you need to go in and fix this, okay? Because truthfully, the cash that came out was more and we need to fix the bill. So how do you do that? All right, first thing what we want to do uh, you're probably going to be in your reconciliation feature function here. So go ahead and get into the reconciliation area. So you have your bill. All right, let's say it was this CSAA bill. Check. Okay, so it's for $1,800. That's what I have recorded in QuickBooks. But it was really for $1,850. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, open it up. I can go ahead and just change it right here on the bill, $1,850. But that's not, I mean, change it right here on the check, but that's not going to change my bill. I need to make sure to change the bill too. So what you want to do is you want to double click on the bill. Excuse me. <laughs> click on history here. Uh, so when you, when you click on history, it's going to pull up the bill and you double click on this bill. It's going to show you it right here. So $1,800. It was supposed to be 1850 So you want to go ahead and change the bill. Save and close. Yes. Yes. Okay, now it's for $18.50. So you can change the check for $18.50 here. Okay, notice also the amount paid is still $1,800. So the amount applied to this bill is still $1,800. So you have to come in and uncheck that box, recheck that box. Now it's going to apply the $1,850 to the bill, the checks for $1,850. I say save and close. And now I can go ahead and move forward with my reconciliation.